right, here is the British lightweight hopeful Mark Jacasey, and I gotta think DC, in a video game setting, this dude's gotta be pretty fun to play with. Yes, he does have a lot of very striking techniques and things that are very good to see on television. So as your fun match, Mark Jacasey's doing jumping double kicks, so he would be a fun guy, but ultimately, you don't get those skills in the video game unless you possess them in right. real life, and Jacasey possesses those striking techniques that allow him to be as exciting as you see him on your television screen right now. Took some of the pressure off with a recent win over Joseph Duffy, Mark Jacasey, back looking for another win here tonight. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. And now our kill the tape for this lightweight scrap. Two years apart, these two fighters with the same height and some differences in reach. All right, to get us started now, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! A round in the UFC lightweight division. It's first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, five losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Doncaster, England, Mark Bocrusher Casey. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Ready. Ready to fight. Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it'll be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Good, nice body kick land. So a nice job landing the counter there, and that's really the book on this guy. He's a counter striker. He waits for his opponent to engage and then tries to use that aggression against them. That's exactly what he was trying to do there. Right hand on point. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Back to the jab now, no good. Three minutes to go. 
big powerful punch lands. Now we get back to range. Yeah, he wants to draw his opponent in here, looking to set up another counter, but he wants his opponent to strike first. And he landed the right hand there. there oh! He just started looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Punch lands. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. All right, he engages in the single follow tie. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Trying to establish that jab once again. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Big body kick. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Looping left hand misses the target. Jacasey's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Five minutes in the books. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. That was some serious precision striking on display in the previous round. Found his openings upstairs and closed the show. He has landed at an alarming rate. His opponent needs to get his head off the center line. He's walking into him with his head straight up, not moving, trying to engage without changing the angles. That is why he is getting brutalized right now. Beautiful punch. Beautiful straight counter. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Jacason. Checks the leg kick. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Well time needed the body. Jacasey's hook shot blocked, though, by the defense. Nice job getting that guard up to prevent any further damage. Liver kick. Good punch. Just misses with the straight right. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Connects now with the one-two. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Whoa! And that's gonna do it. It's over. It's over. What a performance. A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win.
buffer has your decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called the South Coast contest at three minutes, 33 seconds of round number two. We're playing the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ha Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and Candidly knocking another man out there. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout.